right? I bought a Roomba at Costco. And I'm gonna return a Roomba to Costco. Roomba's here, right? I've had Roomba for four. Roomba's quiet. Listen here, Roomba. Roomba barely blows any air. It's just gentle. It's a lady. Roomba is a lady. And sometimes Roomba cleaning like a lady is fine. But Nito here. Nito Botvac. Nito Botvac is an animal. Look at Nito Botvac go. I'm serious. This is a review. I bought this one at Costco. I spent 400 fucking dollars on it because I'm lazy and I don't like cleaning. I love a vacuumed house. And if you look, this looks very clean. Roomba's been here for four days, running every day. And Nito Botvac was opened up today, charged today, ran today, and it's like I've never vacuumed before until Nito. Oh, fight! Fucking fight! Anyway. At some point, I'm going to stop these and show you the underworkings of them. Long story short, it's a weird review. See, this isn't about headphones or speakers, but carpet is the best sound deadening you could have to keep reflections from happening. So you should have wall-to-wall -wall carpet. And people hate wall-to-wall -wall carpet because it's not allergenic and you blah, 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 blah. By the way, Roomba has knocked over Chewbacca's water dish and Nito, uh, Roboback, has just simply pushed it out of the way. Are you going back home? That, that one's been going for like 25 minutes right now. And, and Roomba is doing, it, doing its thing. Greatest video on the internet, all right? Just tell me it's not. They both work on the same principle of the front has touch sensors, and by touch sensors, I mean the whole front collapses in. Are you done, Roomba? You gonna go sleep now? Got to eventually. Done Nito, Nito, Roomba, 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 Nito. They both have fronts that move in. And they're just, they're robots. They're, they're self-learning. Now, Roomba here, um, does very strange pathfinding. Like, I know you're supposed to run it every day, because it's not a very good vacuum. And the bottom of the Roomba is two spinning silicone things about seven inches wide. And they just, they grab up in the middle. And then it's got a spinny thing. And oh, you're, you're bad at that one. Le leave that alone. You, you can't handle that. Come on out. What, it, what Roomba does have, which I'm not going to show you unless it tries to go back over the carpet. What Roomba does have is a handle that lets you pick it up. Let me show you the bottom. So this is what Roomba's got going on. A big sweeper. Big sweeper. that I think you can replace it, but doesn't come with a replacement and a swivel wheel, and these two silicone grabbers, essentially, that suck things up. And here's your empty bin. And it will park itself over there. And this is an infrared receiver sender that it uses to find its way home. And you actually, with this Roomba, got these two um, blocking devices. And you could either put it in an, in a radius block, so they don't clean my cat food up, and put this near the cat food, or, It'll actually shoot the infrared in a straight line, and you could just block it from going in a room. And this came with two AA batteries, and it, you know you put it down, and it just it, that's it. It doesn't. I put it here and here, so it wouldn't come into the kitchen. And Roomba cleaned the floor earlier today. Go back to cleaning. Doo doo. Makes cool little dinky dink noises. Now, Neato here. Doesn't have that handle to pick it up. Oh, fight. But, just like, so you see these little, like, whatever the fuck Roomba's doing right now? Like, oh, but it's lost. It doesn't know where it is. No, it, it's had five days to figure out where it is, and I've had to pick it up multiple times. It, it ignored one of those sensors and tried to clean Chewbacca's wet cat food, which involved me getting under it and cleaning Roomba, which is something I don't want to have to do to my robot. This guy uh, ate a mouse cord in the other room. My fault, it was on the floor and it doesn't know any better. Chewbacca, um, I don't know which one she likes more. Probably Nito, right? She's not gonna ride them, she's just gonna observe them. 
But this thing goes around the room like it knows the room. In fact, it starts up and says, I'm checking my surroundings. And I'm pretty sure that guy right there just wanders around hitting things in weird, you can see it's not a straight line, it's sort of a curve. And you can see it's this wide. Oh God, it's trying to disable the, um, you stuck? It actually turned the Roomba's base. It's been trained to do that. Anyway, so you saw the bottom of the ro I robot. It's about this wide. The bottom of the Nito, come here, Nito. Not you. Yeah, this thing just does weird sweeps. And the very first two runs, it wasn't very good. And the last run, it, it did a long time. But again, you saw the bottom of that. I have to pick this up. Hold on, buddy. Hold on, buddy. And it'll detect you picked it up. This has a full-size, like, vacuum. Like a real vacuum. This is what you have in a real vacuum that alternates brushes and silicone. And you're going to get hair stuck in it, and you have to pop a thing off, and you have to get it. And it's got these sensors underneath it that actually see things. And it's got a much smaller spinner. Whereas that one has a big spinner, this has a smaller one, and a replacement it came with. Also does not have, um, um... A caster wheel just has these small rollers. Same sort of feet, uh, silicone feet. And I think, no, I don't think it's mechanically lifting it up. I think if it gets caught, it just rears up. So this is a much wider pattern. It's a much more traditional vacuum. And I could tell you from looking at my floor, after five days of that and 20 minutes of this, this is a superior vacuum. Oh. Stay away from Chewbacca's food. Put it down, it chases it away. That's a good system, I like that. Now, the Neato came with something that also restricts it. It's a little less high tech, a lot more annoying, but it doesn't require batteries. It's this strip. The Neato comes with a magnetic strip. That's why I was stuck to my cabinet here. And so basically, you don't want Neato going in your kitchen. You lay this down nice and flat on the floor. Nito sees it, or feels it, and it's like, ah, this guy... This guy, I put this on, now I got a flashlight that says, hey, fuck off. And I'm gonna go there. And now there. So now, that's blocked. Just from the... I knew that Nito was a better vacuum, just because back here, the amount of air getting blown out. You just you're just both fucking saboteurs, aren't you? Programmed to kill each other. I'd say it's 50% higher volume of air coming out of the Nito. 50% higher volume. That's not a little bit, that's a lot. And really what's it's louder. Nito is louder because it's a better vacuum. Nito also got stuck under this ball chair instead of dragging it around. I don't blame Nito for that. I also don't blame Nito for messing up my mouse cord because it was my fault. It, I shouldn't have let it go in that room. But look, look at Nito navigate these corners. And then you know what it's gonna do? It's gonna come out and follow around the turns perfectly without hitting them, without touching. It actually knows where it is without touching. It's like, oh, oh. Roomba just is here to piss me off. It seems that Roomba's, Roomba's here to do random spinning angles and it spins around and I understand that spinning is to get that motorized thing but but bot back Nito bot back look at it look at it just it's like it can see it's like that one's blind and this one can see that's what it comes down to now now that now you're stuck because this fucking transmitter's there and this thing's here so can I steer it with this hold on hold on leave my cat alone fuck off Fuck, fuck off, go that way, here, look. I've had to do this a couple times in the last four days, where I'm just like, hey, stop, stop. I know what you're trying to do, don't. Go away. It's like, it's like, it doesn't know what to do. That way. Oh. So Nito bought vac. They both fit under the couch. They don't fit under the back of my couch. Roomba here is caught by the infrared receiver on the top. And Nidobot back has that giant, I guess, cowling on the top that allows it to see. So, 
on a normal height couch. In the front they could fit in because I have uh, standoffs about an inch high, but in the back it's slammed to the floor. They they can't get out. I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for. By the way, I, I I've decided on this and I've started filming the review. Fucking the bot back hasn't stopped working yet. It's a refurbished bot back too. Where this one I think took two or three charges to get like ready to go. And look, it's still doing these weird. When the Roomba goes, you see a couple stretches. I took a picture of it. So it was like, Jesus, is her annoying. It just starts doing like these weird arcs and bouncing around and spins. And it never really gets the corners or it stays in one spot for too long. Botvac here figures out straight lines and just starts doing them. I'm amazed. I'm amazed at that. I think this system's probably going to be easier to clean. Look at poor Chewbacca. Poor Chuber Dubers. Where's that? Where's the deterrent cube? Here, I'll just put it in like a, a main fuck off area. But this thing, this thing barely touches anything and then just sort of like drives around. Now, I'm not a connoisseur of fucking vacuums, but I'm a connoisseur of lazy. And I'll tell you this. Um, why do you hate? It must know that that's for a, for a Roomba. I'm just trying to fuck with it. I'm probably returning the $400 one, keeping the refurbished $200 one. That's just what it comes down to. Are you done fucking up my kitchen yet? Here, I'll make it easy for you and shake out all the dirt. Go nuts. Of course, now what will happen? I mean, here, look. Here's the dirt that the Roomba picked up in four days. It's all here. You don't get that in another video. Big pieces, Chewbacca things got hay on it. So I, it, it picks up dirt. It definitely picks up dirt. Oh, Jesus. But it never did the whole, f the fucking, this goddamn Nito has cleaned this whole room. And it's doing it like again. It's doing a second run of the whole room. It made it into this room. It cleaned this room and then got, it ate cables over there. So I, I left it and ate more cables. And I'm like, I didn't clean this room up properly. And I put it back in here, and it's still going. It's been a half hour. Oh. This magnet strip is the only thing that bothers me about Neato. Because, hi girls. Because it, it should. I wish it used the infrareds like that does. Even though I'm pretty sure the batteries in that when they start dying are gonna get annoying. Because they're gonna die and there's no indicator to say power is on, and all of a sudden your Roomba's just gonna, oh, fight, 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 kick his ass, sea bass. Greatest fucking thing you've ever seen. All right, so basically I'm cleaning, uh, tonight's regimen is watch Westworld a day late, and then clean my iRobot. I can keep them both. I don't wanna keep them both. I wanted to, I figured I'd buy the cheaper one See which one I like better, and give the other one away. Assuming it was going to be the cheaper one, which is the Neato, which is a refurbished. See, right, right there, look. There's, there's tire marks, and what it's cleaning between the tires, and a slight curve, like, across the floor. And this guy, this guy doesn't do slight curves. This guy does straight motherfucking lines, and has an OCD mofo. I could just feel the carpet is vacuumed under, when that one goes by, and this one, it's sort of just like, eh. It's the one-way bristles. The two-way bristles are picking up dirt. I'm ending this review when that thing stops running and I open up the actual container to dump the, con the contents out. I have no problem with this going in there and wandering into my bedroom and wandering even into the bathroom if it can navigate the thick carpets, the thick uh, floor mats. I'm, ama I'm amazed by the Neato enough to say day of opening, this is better than that. And just, just... Its movements are so janky. Like it does these weird sweep things. It's like, you, you can't go there. Figure that out. It's knocked over my cat's water dish. It, it's on my foot. Ow! Go. Go away. Fushta. Ah! This fucker rams things. This, this dumb bitch just rams into things. That neato... Goes slow, then goes a little bit faster. Look at the nice straight line. 
straight lining up my couch slowly. Just, just, uh, 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 gently touch. This fucking thing is like, duh, duh. All right, this is the best vacuum review on YouTube. That's my goal. It's my goal to have that. I, I, I honestly, I don't know how long that one's gonna keep cleaning for. This one ran earlier today. My fucking floor feels so vacuumed. I would have to run this every day to keep my floor clean because it does such a shit job of like hitting the right spots. Like there, it's actually doing all right. Come on, do it, do it, do it. Fucking do it. If I raise the back of the couch up of, uh, another half inch, both of the units should be able to drive completely under the couch, which might make it easier. It also might make it harder. Nito, go back home. How do I send it home? Look, straight line out, straight line back, just at the edge of the table. Whatever sensors it's got going on are superior to the iRobot. Just, just, mm. and er, it's ooh and er. Look at it. It's faster, but it doesn't have as wide. It has to be faster. It doesn't pick up as much dirt. Doesn't have the same width. They're probably comparable as far as runtime, but the suction, the actual dust suction on that, even with the hypoallergenic filter which is on it. And there, look, there's the curve. You can see the curve. Just a woohoo. And I don't know if it's just my iRobot. Maybe one of the wheels doesn't spin as fast as the other, but it's annoying. And Chewbacca just super intimidated by it. Look at you. Look at you. This one looks like it's smart, and this one looks like it's just random. What's the other brands? I'll, I'll get a third. We'll make this happen. Yeah. I'm not selling that on a, on a yard sale. I'm just buy a Neato bot back. And screw this robot. Screw you, iRobot. I mean, you tried. You really are trying. I just can't stand the randomness of it. It doesn't fluff the carpet. The va The actual air suction is half of what that is. It's a smaller opening, but it's like half. Look, ran absolute chance hits the table. This thing is going to stop before it hits the couch. Watch. It's going to turn. It this thing sees. The Roomba's fucking blind. All right. Have I, I bitched enough? This is exciting. I love a clean vacuumed home and I'm lazy and I have a Patreon and I'm like, you know what? This is a write-off. So guess what? I'm not writing off enough wasting Patreon money on $600 in fucking automatic vacuums. Let's return one automatic vacuum, keep another. Look, look at it. It's just, it doesn't want to hurt my stuff. My litter box, my very, look, and then how does it know? How does it know that that's perfectly straight? And Chewbacca's just wandering around. She doesn't trust, I think she trusts Nito more, honestly, because robots just fucking like, bah, bah. It's fighting for its life now. Someone will buy the iRobot and they'll be perfectly happy with it. It'll clean their, if you have non-carpet, you might be fine, but I have carpets, thick fucking carpets. And oh my God, it feels like I just vacuumed. You know how often I used to vacuum? Like once every two months. Because I hate moving the furniture, plugging it in and doing that and cleaning out the filter. And so I have a good vacuum too. And I was, I, I was going to I said in the unboxing of that, I said in the unboxing of that, if you get the iRobot, you have to run it every day. But I think once a month, you're going to have to take out a real vacuum and vacuum. You should get that one. Oh God, it's eating more cables. Stop eating all my cables. It's a sign of a good vacuum. You get, a, you get one of these, you no longer have to take out any other vacuum and vacuum. This will do it all. Okay, look at it just gently, just, just figure out where it is. Chewbacca's not stupid. I'm gonna go home now, you sound like you're sick. I've, this one has not found its way home yet. Keep that in mind also. Every time I've run this one, it's found its way home. This one, this is the first run. I want to shut the video off. Go home. I'm sure there might even be a way to tell it to go home. I don't even know what that button does. Honestly, I'm terrible. You can set scheduling on both of them. You basically set a clock, and then it goes near to schedule. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And you can set a time every day. If you don't set a time on Tuesday, it doesn't clean on Tuesday. 
You want to set it at three in the morning while you're in bed? There'll be a vacuum running around your house at three in the morning. They all have safety features so they know if they get caught and the wheels are spinning and they're not moving, they shut off and go beep, 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 you find them the next day. What are you doing now? What are you cleaning? I can almost see a pattern forming, but it's like... Bot back stopped. Oh, Bot back didn't stop. Well, Bot back's going home. Bot back is dying. I'm returning to my base for charging. Oh, here we go, everyone. This review is about to end. It's looking for its base. It's behind the couch, Bot back. Oh no! Please wait while I check my surroundings. Maybe I walk too close. I mean, if she goes and then dies somewhere else, that's a big negative. So she's still going. I guarantee you they shut it off. They shut off the vacuum. They shut off the bristle brush. And leave just the drive motors. So that it can go and find its way home for at least five minutes. I wonder if I freaked it out by getting too close. See, that thing will keep vacuuming all the way till it's parked. Are you going home too? Are you going home too? Hold on, they're both... It's wiggling, it's wiggling its way back. Come on. Keep going. Charging. Cleaning suspended while charging. Boom. Okay, Nito made its way home. Now you go home. Well, fuck it. I know you'll go home. Stop. I hit spot. I've never hit spot before. So obviously spot does this. If you put it in a dirty spot, it'll just go and do a larger concentric circle. You know what? There might be an updated vacuum review. That's actually pretty cool. Will it hit that? Just gonna smash into it. Just smash it. Let's go the other way in a concentric circle. Interesting. I like that mode. I don't hate that mode. Very cool. But what I'm gonna do now, like I said, I was going to end this video. Because the the Roomba, you gotta pull the thing out the back. This, you pull this out the top. My god, it's packed! Alright, I want you to keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen that are watching this. First of all, let me get a fucking water spray bottle, because the dust will shoot up into my mouth, and I hate when that happens in my mouth. You pull the filter out. This is after five days of Roomba running. Oh, I almost forgot one thing it came with. You good? Now go home. How do I make you go home? Dock. I love telling things to start docking. I have down here. Where is it? There it is. The needle came with this. You'll find your way home. And it's specifically for cleaning this filter out. Never use water, just brush it out. And honestly, it didn't tell me to clean. If Now that it's clean this much, tomorrow there'll be hardly anything on there. Or every other day. Oop, remember that spray bottle? No, don't get the filter wet. You just wanna get the dust that comes out of the filter wet. 
So, welcome to YouTube. We, um... That plays fun little songs. You docked, and that just drives in and stops. This guy's a little more ca more cautious. So let's see. Th that all came out after five fucking Roomba days. And I was upset. I said I should have vacuumed with my real vacuum and then put the Roomba on because it, it was a mess. So I gave that thing five days, and that was more dirt from one run after five days of Roomba than, than you could get. So, by the way, the master on off switch for this thing is in here. So if you wanna find it, it's, it, you gotta really look. Shiny black plastic, by the way, suck my ass. Let's take out the Roomba, let's show you how you dump that. And it actually is flashing full of dirt. You know, it's not though. So this, this just pops open. And that's it. No big clumps, no, no, I mean, you showed up, it was running. So it's actually a smaller area to keep dirt. More of a mist. The mistier, the better. That's it. It came with an extra one of these filters, at least. So, you know, clear, clear winner. So that was five full days of this bitch running. And just one run with that Neato destroyed it. Destroyed it. Like a real vacuum cleaner was going around. That actually might vacuum up too much dirt. As long as, if you run this thing three times a week and you're not a filthy fucking human being like I am with cats and just, you'll probably be able to clean it out once every week or two weeks. I'm gonna see. Cause now that it's been officially vacuumed and it feels like it's been vacuumed you people know what that feeling's like, right? Like after like the carpet all stands up. I never got that with Roomba. With, with, with Roomba. I was like, I'm gonna have to come in here and give it a full vacuuming. And you could see the random, like that's just a random line. I hate that, just a random line. That thing, perfect concentric lines. I just see Roomba tracks everywhere. Anyway, I'm gonna clean Roomba off and bring it back to Costco. Because that's what returns are about. Returns are about, I bought something, I had an expectation, that expectation, was, uh, you know, I don't know any better about robots. And you get a second one for half price. I mean, it won't be half price when you look at it because it won't be probably refurbished. But at the same cost, 100% neato. I just hope there's another revision coming out that has a similar like barrier system. Something you could plug into the wall even that just says no, no. Or even spray paint something down because having that actual magnet strip, mm, I'm gonna have to keep I'm gonna have to see if I can order another one because at some point I'd want one, maybe before I vacuum, I just throw one down here. So, hey, don't vacuum up my cat's fucking food. And letting it go into my office unhindered is sort of like a no. It's a no scenario. And I'm gonna fix Chewbacca's water dish by going to Lowe's tomorrow. In fact, I should add something to my list and buying three or four more of those tiles so it's got like a nice one inch base. So that all these vacuums just hit that and not the water dish. So anyway, this was a very strange Z review, but I mean, I'm here to give consumer advice in all forms. It's not Z audio reviews, it's Z reviews. And today, Z reviewed robotic vacuums, at least two of them, and uh, clear, clear fucking winner. I wonder what that button does. If you know what this button does on a Neato, say so in the comments to help other people out. In the meantime, um, thank you for watching. Uh, HiFiGuides.com will probably be up, but it will not have um, vacuums on it, unless you'd like to see vacuums on it. Chewbacca's here. Um, this wallpaper I actually used in my surround sound video, but I'll give it again. And I'll find something that has to do with vacuums. Probably sexy Android. This is a, this is a spur of the moment review. I don't do these. I don't do the spur of the moment reviews because then I have nothing prepared and I don't have websites open. I can't give you pricing. It was just sort of like, ah, that's so good. It's so good. All right. 
We done here? Good. I'm going to uh, hope for the best and prepare for the worst with these vacuums as they take over our lives. Hi, Chewbacca. Bok, bok. Bok, bok. <laughs>